What's up, Couch Stream? Spooty Man here with the ever sexy California Yoda, and I'm going to show you a little bit of a glitch with the thrust of jet engines that I've found. Now, I've got my VTOL SSTO here, and I call him Vitolsky Sistolsky. And basically, I have all the engines set to action groups. And I also have the air intake set to a whole separate action group so that I can open and close it whenever I want. Now, in uh, on a normal takeoff, what I would do is I would, I would have all my air intakes open. I would turn on, say, if we're going to do a, a runway uh, takeoff, I would have you know, all my air intakes open and my brakes on, and I would do this spool up. Now, watch the kilonewtons of thrust as it spools up. You know, it takes a while. I'd say about five seconds to get to 100 kilonewtons of thrust, and that's not even at its max uh, thrust. So we'll say about another about 10 seconds to get to 110 kilonewtons. Pretty long time, and you're consuming fuel at this time. I've already used four units of fuel. Uh, now 60 or no, that looks like 14 units of fuel. 16. Uh, you know, it's it's two times because they're both drawing out of here. So. Fuel is being consumed, <laughs> is, is the point I'm making during this spool up. But watch this. Since I have my air intakes all to one action group, if I were to flame out my engine by t shutting them all off, and then taking off my brakes, and uh, I like to do a little wiggle to make sure it's rolling. Now watch. When the engine goes into a flame out status, and then I turn all the air intakes in on all at once, I go from 0 to 112 kilonewtons of thrust instantly. Instantly, with no spool up. Now you notice my, my other engines here still go on a normal spool up. Uh, but they weren't, uh, they weren't in a flame out status. So... Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. So essentially what you could do, you could have a plane. I, I think that would make for some fun uh, trick maneuvers. Or if you have a, you know, if you have a lifter, like I don't know if you guys have seen my snowflake lifter. If you have a lifter like that, that uses, you know, 30 or 40 air breathing engines for its initial lifting uh, launching stage, you could have instant thrust and not have to really ever worry about here, I just flamed out those engines, turned off my front facings, and now I just have my VTOL set to get ready to go to max thrust when I turn on the air. Hit the old air brakes. Now I wonder... Yep. It le it's funny, it... Um it doesn't work if you turn off the air intakes at zero throttle. So I'll go and uh, I'll demonstrate this uh, one more time. Wouldn't really truly be an, a couch stream episode without an explosion. So anyway, uh, you're on the runway. You're about to VTOL away. Turn on your engines. You've got your down facing engines set. And now this works with any configuration of jet engines, but it's got to be a jet engine only. Uh, so I will turn off my air intakes. And I will thrust up the engine and flame it out. There we go. Full flame out. So I used a couple seconds of fuel. Uh, let's see here, liquid fuel. Nope, it still says that I'm at full capacity. So without a single iota of fuel being used, turn on my intake and just take off. Simple as that. So that was like instant VTOL takeoff. I know I'm just burning all my engines. Pretty simple. Well, I hope this uh, glitch can be put to good use. I hope you all enjoy it. Thanks for watching. I hope you had a good time. And if
if we can get one more successful landing in here. Ooh. Successful as in I crashed it. Anyway, have a great day.